Hey guys, Quiv the Lazy Geek here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about how to view your mouse on your computer in 3D. And um, you, many of you guys may know that I use a, a piece of software called Green Swamp Server to connect to my Skywatcher mounts instead of using things like uh, EQ Mod or the SynScan ASCOM driver that is provided by Skywatcher, the maker of the mount. And this is because it works really well for me. It comes with tons of really neat feature. It's free and it has a 3D view of the mount so that I can at all times look at what's happening where my mount is pointed. Um, and we can have a look right now. You can see that indeed we can see that on the balcony right now my mount is parked so it is indeed pointing to the north as usual not doing anything any too crazy so it's always good to do that so what kind of use cases do you have for that i mean it's there's the use case as i do which is simply like when my mount is remote and i image from the computer that's downstairs i control it from the computer that's downstairs it's always good to have the peace of mind to actually be able to see the mount like that or even if you're like going camping and you take your mount with you to take some astrophotographs and you're in your tent because it's cold outside, right? Then you can control everything from your tent and still view where the mount is pointing, which is really great. And um, what is neat with this is that you can do this even if your mount is not a Skywatcher mount. Uh, you don't have to be controlling your mount via the Green Swamp server ASCOM driver. You can be controlling your mount via the Vixen driver if you have a Vixen mount or Takahashi or uh, whatever, Astrophysics, uh, Celestron, whatever. As long as it has an ASCOM driver, uh, there's a free piece of software made by the same guys who make Green Swamp server that can simply connect to that ASCOM driver and, and give you a visualization of the mount in, in 3D. Of course, if you can already tell, uh, visualize within your hand, head where your, your head mount is pointing, just by looking at the, um, R, uh, the, the coordinates, the equatorial coordinates of the mount in your ASCOM driver, then you don't need this, but it also means that you live in the matrix. Oh, sorry. Um, and uh, so let's have a look at how this works. The first step is to go to the Green Swamp server website. I can click on this and you can see that you can download two things here. You can download Green Swamp server. This will only work if you want to control uh, your Skywatch amount via Green Swamp, but you also download Green Swamp Point 3D, which works with any mount. And it's when I just noticed that they had actually embedded one of my videos about uh, Skywatcher computer control using Green Swamp server. So here it is. Uh, but anyway, I'm, we're just going to download uh, Green, Green Swamp, Swamp Point 3D. You can give them a PayPal pal donation if you like what you see. We're going to download it. It's going to download as a zip file. And uh, once you download the zip file, you can just double click setup.exec. For me, it's already installed, so I don't have to do anything, but it's just going to be next, 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 and then you're done. And once you're done, you can actually, uh, you have access to a Green Swamp, sir, a Green Swamp Point 3D piece of software, either as an icon on your desktop or directly from uh, your start menu uh, here. And so I can launch it. And when you launch it, it will ask what telescope you want to connect to. And so to do so, you'll just click on the three bars on the left and you can select your telescope and you'll have an ASCOM telescope chooser. And what I'm using right now is I have connected my teles to my telescope through the controller. Here it is. And I use the SynScan driver. I'm not using Green Swamp server. I'm not using EQ mod. I'm just using the standard SynScan driver. And it would work with any other mount that supports ASCOM. So next point will actually be to click on properties. If the mount is already connected, then you'll just click OK. If it's not connected yet, then you will need to set like the COM port or where, how you're connected to the mouse. We're just going to press OK and then we're going to click that connect button here and you can see that indeed my mount is pointed like straight ahead. So it tells me immediately how it's looking. I can always disconnect with the um, telescope icon on the top right here. And what's really cool, as you can see, is that you can change the model that you're using, whether it's the default like schmidt Cassegrain, um, a reflector that's really, really neatly like uh, designed, which looks very much what like what I have right now. But you know, I like to feel rich and powerful. So I just go to a Richie Chrétien truss type because 
it smells very, very expensive, so why not? And uh, I'm gonna move the mount via the uh, SynScan driver, which I think is connected, yes, there it is. And I could just like uh, move my mount like this and we can see that it's actually following up on the 3D image here. And so we can always see what's happening to, uh, to the mount, which I think is pretty cool. And that means that if you're like going to do a slew and you're in your tent or you're in your car, it's nice and warm and it's cold outside and you don't have direct line of sight of your mount, then you can just like launch your slew command and look at what the mount is doing directly from here. There is however a cave at because this uses the coordinates that the mount provides via the ASCOM driver. So it uses where the mount thinks it is pointing to. So if the mount is poorly aligned and it doesn't know properly where it's pointed to, you'll get the same problems in the software here. So garbage in, garbage out. So before you're gonna get good results with this piece of software, you need to make sure that um, you've properly like uh, centered and synced or do, done an alignment of the mount so the mount knows exactly where it is pointed to so that the coordinates that it reports are actually the same coordinates as, uh, as you know, what it is actually pointing to. And um, it, there could be small mismatches and some mounts, they kind of lie with their coordinates or they have bugs that round down coordinates or there's some weird stuff happening. So it might not be extremely precise, but overall it gives a good idea of what the mount is doing without having to directly be looking at it, looking at, it at all times. And uh, I've been like, you know, moving around here like that. I'm just pressing the right click I'm right clicking and while I'm right clicking, I'm just dragging the mouse around to be looking at, uh, at my uh, 3D model of this telescope um, all from different points of view. And this is it. This is a simple free tool. Um, it's, I think it's great. And, um, and yes, yeah, so I just wanted to share that because it works with any mount that has an ASCOM driver. And it's pretty neat, it's free, doesn't cost anything to try. So if you have tried this out after this video, please let me know down in the comments. I'd love to know what your impressions about this are. And uh, yeah, that's, that was pretty much all I wanted to show you guys. If you're new to the channel, by the way, welcome. Uh, if you like astrophotography, this kind of video, tips and tricks, that kind of stuff, feel free to go down below, subscribe, click that bell icon, all the good stuff, like the video as well. <laughs> and, uh, but you know, more importantly than that, never forget to look up at the stars and I'll see you next time.